Welcome to Elementary Large Group. My name is Miss Emily and I'm so thankful you're here. Be sure to let us know that you're here and say good morning to us in the comments. Myself, Miss Rachel, Miss Christine, and Miss Drew are all here watching with you this morning. Also parents, be sure to keep an eye out on your email later on this afternoon. You should be getting an email from either myself or Miss Christine and that is going to have the parent queue and the God time card for this week. Those are both really awesome resources for you to use at home with your kid throughout this week as a follow-up to the Bible story and the bottom line that we are about to hear about this week. So let's get started with Elementary Large Group. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Elementary Large Group. My name is Miss Drew, and I am pumped about what God has in store for us. I love getting to have fun with you as we check out what it means to be unstuck. Yes, I'm talking about determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Our game today is going to require a whole lot of determination. Are you ready? Here are the rules. When I say go, you'll have 60 seconds to find the alphabet in your house. Well, you'll find items in your house that start with each letter of the alphabet. So here are some that I found. For A, I've got aluminum foil. For B, I've got my Bible. And for C, I've got a candle. So you don't want to get stuck on one letter. The goal is to find as many letters as you can in 60 seconds. So be sure to write them down or keep track of how many you find. Are you ready? Go. And time. How many letters of the alphabet did you find in your house? 
Be sure to let us know in the comments and share your favorite alphabet with a picture. We've got an amazing story from the Bible to hear about today. Last week, we learned that Jesus gave his friends, the disciples, a very important job. He told them to share about what he had done with the whole world. And here's the thing. That job wasn't just for his disciples. So let's set our sacred large group space and then find out more about our story today. Hi, friends. You know what time it is. It's time to set our sacred large group space before we hear a Bible story. So we have three candles and they represent something, don't they? They represent God. They represent God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And so when we set our sacred space together and we light these candles, we not only get ourselves ready to listen and hear a Bible story for today, but we remember that God is here with us. So let's light our candles and set our sacred space. And remember, as I light each candle, you'll say out loud with me, God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, as I light each one. Are you ready? God the Creator. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. is here with me and with you. And now that our sacred large group space is set, let's hear our Bible story for this week. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 41. The room was crowded. Over 100 followers of Jesus gathered, sat on the floor, or knelt to pray. Peter, always quick to take charge, may have led them. Lord, you told us to wait in Jerusalem. You promised to send your Holy Spirit. Now, just before Jesus had gathered his closest friends at the Mount of Olives and instructed them to tell everyone about him from Jerusalem to every nation on earth. But then, right before their eyes, he'd been taken up to heaven. You've given us a huge job. We don't know how to do it when you're not here with us. So please, help us. The room stilled as everyone waited, even though they weren't exactly sure what they were waiting for. James and John may have been near a window. Getting windy out there. I'll just close the shutters. I don't think that sound is outside. Uh, uh, everyone stay calm. As the sound like wind rose even higher, a burst of light appeared in the center of the room. It flickered like a fireball breaking into individual flames. What on earth? I don't think it's from Earth. As the group watched transfixed, the flames separated and skimmed out until a tongue of fire stood over the head of each believer in the room. Is this? It must be. God's Holy Spirit. 
as the Spirit of God filled the room and the heart of each believer, something even more incredible happened. Soon, the believers realized what was going on. God has given us the power to speak other languages. Immediately, the believers went out to join the crowds who had gathered in Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. Now, these Jews traveled to Jerusalem from many regions and countries where a variety of languages were spoken, so they were shocked to hear the believers talking about Jesus in words they could understand, and each believer responded in their own language. Aren't these people from Galilee? Yes, so how do we hear them in our own native languages? We've come from all over. I've met people here from Parthia, Mesopotamia, Asia, Egypt, Libya. But these Galileans are talking about God's wonders in our languages. What does it mean? I think it means they're a little loopy. Loopy? One fish short of a lunch, if you know what I mean. Peter heard the doubters in the crowd, so he gathered the rest of the disciples and made his way up to the very front. My fellow Jews, hey, people! Jesus of Nazareth was a man who had God's approval. God did miracles, wonders, and signs among you through Jesus. Long ago, God planned that Jesus would be handed over. You nailed him to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. The crowd listened as the Holy Spirit gave Peter the words to say and helped them understand. Jesus has received the Holy Spirit from the Father. This is what God had promised. It is Jesus who has poured out what you now see and hear. God has made him both Lord and Messiah. Many people were deeply moved by the words Peter had spoken. So what do we do now? All of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I, I want to be baptized. Me too. Me three. Then let's get started. That day, 3,000 people believed in Jesus and were baptized. With the help of the Holy Spirit, Peter and the disciples were already beginning the big job of telling every nation on earth about Jesus, even before they left Jerusalem. The Holy Spirit was an amazing gift to the believers. Because of the Spirit, it was possible for the believers to begin the great mission that Jesus had given them. They were able to tell so many people about Jesus, and their work had just begun. God's Holy Spirit is available to us too. Jesus made a way for us to have a relationship with God, and because of Jesus, we can have the help of the Holy Spirit all the time. From the beginning, God always had a plan to send a helper. God knew that we would need help to feel his love, to follow his ways, and to carry out his mission of sharing his love with the whole world. So he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit, and we never have to go alone because he is always with us. Remember, God gives you what you need to keep going. Maybe you know someone who faced something difficult and was able to be strong because of the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit, you can keep going too. If you believe in Jesus, you have the Spirit to help you. You can have determination to keep going and finish what you've started. Remember our new memory verse? It's Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6, 9. Let's all say that together one more time. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And now let's pray. God, it's so amazing to see how you gave the gift of the Holy Spirit to the disciples, just like Jesus promised. When we believe, you give us the Holy Spirit too, God. We know that with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can be determined to follow you and finish what we've started. Please help us to trust you and remember that you give us everything we need through your Spirit. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining Elementary Large Group today. I can't wait to be with you again this time next week as we continue to talk about determination together. Bye, friends. You are above every other. Your love amazes me. You created every beautiful color. 
everyone to see I want the world to know I want my life to show Just what your love has done for me Just what your love has done for me 